All right, y'all, so we got a special one today. We're gonna see how much money we can spend in India. That's right, we're doing luxury India. What better way to start it off than a business class flight? $470 from Bangkok, Thailand, all the way to Delhi, India. What's the greatest thing you get with business class flight? Besides the fast check-in and fast immigration, you get the lounge. Looking like a schmuck. This is my video, get out of here. Good morning. How are you? Great, how about you? Doing well. I need some coffee. <laughs> because it's early morning. Yeah, early, early. You work all night or just the morning? Just the morning. Okay, so you had to get up early too. Thank you so much. All right, welcome to the Singapore Lounge. Uh, I already see a seat I want right here. This is like the most anti, like, look, I can even get in a corner here. I just don't have to talk to anybody. This is the kind of seat I want, like the non-sociable seat. I've not had coffee, it's early morning. This is what I want. Can stretch out, a nice little, little cubicle here. Okay. Nice little area to plug all your stuff in. All right, Let's put stuff down, check it out. I hate vloggers. All right, first, if it wasn't like six in the morning, in fact, you got the acai with the self pouring machine, futuristic, on point. I would definitely do that, but I am only slightly an alcoholic. Oh, pastry, pastry, pastry. Little like steam buns, shumai, uh, little mantau, little buns. Sandwiches, breads, little Swiss roll cakes. Carb on carb on carb. They want to make sure you're saturated with carbs and alcohol and caffeine. That's how you, they keep you happy for cheap. I'll just do some water. Honestly, the best thing, this lounge may be best, not in the morning. You get haagen right here. Uh, I don't know if you've ever tried to buy haagen in Singapore, since we're in the Singapore lounge, but that would be like, four or five US dollars for that tiny little thing there. Oh, the fruits, the waters, and more alcohol. There's so much alcohol in here. The alcoholics. Uh, can we order latte here? Yes. Can I do one hot latte, please? Sure. Thank you so much. Oh, I got the I got the crappy machine one. <laughs> they got baristas, baristas right here making it much better. Is this for me? Yes. Thank you. Cop. I wish Chris would stop following me. Uh, looks like we got some. Uh, oh. Looks like we got some carrot cake here. Singapore, we got some Singaporean dishes. Hmm. I don't know about this French toast. Usually, I'm a no-go on the French toast. that has been sitting out, but I've been known to give second chances, and that's what we're gonna do. Wow. Hungry boy, Chris. He ate it all. Let's leave him a toothpick. Let's put it where he'll just never expect it. <laughs> Make him think he's crazy. Oh. All right, we got a good looking breakfast here. All right, Chris just came here and see if he knows it's a toothpick. What are you doing? Man, these vloggers nowadays just get in everybody's face with their cameras. <laughs> Can you believe that one jerk talking crap about me? I got him toothpick. All right, let's try the, the the French toast. Uh, not really a French toast guy. It's been sitting out for a long time, but you know what? Like I said, we're all about second chances. Right. Hey. Mm. This is gonna sound really dumb, but when you lived in Asia, or maybe I should just say Vietnam, as long as I have, the maple syrup actually tastes like maple syrup. It's a big win for me. A little egg yolk porn here. Oh, it's already, it already broke. But I was thinking a little egg right here on these like fried little like carrot cake, which you get from Singapore. Just got some prawns in here, a little sambal. Look at that. Actually, it looks really, really good. Mm. The last thing I want to try a little, a little Danish here. Danetastic. Let's find out. The only thing I find strange is my egg yolk ran into it, so it had this like strange egg yolk flavor as well. Hello, can I have a water? Perfect, thank you so much. Y'all have a good day. And never leave a lounge without free water. Thank you, bye-bye. Okay, on to the flight. You ready for business? <laughs> <laughs> 
I thought you could hear me coming. <laughs> okay, here we are right there. There's the plane. I'm actually surprised we're already boarding. They said boarding would be like 7.50, but it's like 7.40. People are already getting on, but... Which kind of bothers me, because when I fly business, I like to be there as soon as gates open, because I don't want to miss a second experiencing it. Sorry, Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, here we go. Good morning. Morning. All right, here we go. We're right here up to the right. Oh, God. The worst seat ever next to a blogger. Next to the worst seat ever, ever. My gosh. I paid $500 for this, Max. Sir, I got a deal. Mine was only 470 Oh, this guy. Oh my gosh. What is he doing? No, look at this. I think this is complimentary water, or maybe somebody left it from the last flight, but that would be nice. Got Himalayan water here. Oh, oh. I think you lost these. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> I had nowhere to keep them, so I, I just that was kept your, putting them there. I thought they were your business card. I was like, oh, that's pretty smart. Okay. <laughs> Got the business card just falling out at me. <laughs> yes. I'll take this one. Thank you so much. Namaste. Doesn't even taste like a real blueberry. It tastes like blueberry flavor. Tastes like blueberry flavor. Little warm. <laughs> That's okay. <sighs> daily max. Like every day, daily max. One, two, three. Perfect. Got it. All right. Bo Bollywood film I'm going to watch. We have to be careful. They told us no filming, which I looked at the rules. I think it used to be true, but it's been overruled recently, so new rule says you can't film. Anyways, time to be sneaky. All right, so I had a couple of choices what to get. So I had to get the paneer. Paneer just sounded good to me. Got a little almost like chapati parata, a little flatbread to go with it. Ooh, it's stuffed too. I can see a little potato filling, spices. Let's get in there with the hands. Doesn't look bad. Honestly, to tell you the truth. Hold on. Okay, yeah, actually, the like paneer with the peas, very flavorful. The bread is what ruins it for me. I may just have to scoop that. Let's we'll see, is this a $500, $500 Air India business class money bite? Honestly, it's not bad. This little mixture is pretty darn good. Get some yogurt, get some jams, lots of bread. I like triple bread, triple carb, triple the fun. All right, it's like a seven one out of 10. I'm pretty impressed actually. Okay, I got the masala chai. Chris got the Assam chai. I got my masala chai and Chris had to get the masala chai as well. It smells so good. The amount of cardamom coming from this, like actually the aroma takes me to the streets of India. It's pretty impressive. It's not quite there. You can tell they're still using like dipping bags of tea. Chaiwala approved? Probably not, but pretty good. 6.9 out of 10. All right, we are here in Delhi, but the luxury has not ended. We're gonna keep it going. We're going to the Oberoi. We have a room that is $740 per night. And how we get there, you're definitely gonna wanna see. Thank you, brother. Have a good one, Jake. Bye bye. <laughs> Have a good one. See y'all. Oh man, so I always forget you get your SIM cards 500 rupees, or it's 450 rupees. You pay 500, they don't have change, so you need to have your change. But let's show you how luxury this trip's gonna be. Uh, I don't see my person. Uh oh. So we should have a car here, but the problem is we have to find this person. And, uh, Chris and I are going to have to look together. Yeah, because I'm hitching a ride with you because I spent them all on a SIM card. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go down this line. Let's go down this way. I have to look for my person. I have to look for my person. Okay. There's got to be a person this way. Max, 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 Max. Oh, I thought it was me. Nobody's for me. Uh-oh. So the Oberoi said they were going to have a car here for me. Um, but I didn't see 
my person. That's not very luxury, is it? Did you see my name? No. Me neither. <laughs> what time are you tell him? I thought my I gave him my flight and said I landed at twelve. Uh oh. You want to call him? Oh man, we're going to have to call. A SIM card. Yes. <laughs> Hold on. I think they forgot. They told me they were going to have a complimentary car here. Hello, Max. And they never emailed me. Taxi time. Or metro. Wow, hold on. I'm just like a little shocked right now. <laughs> I paid $740 for a room. And I think they forgot. They never emailed me. They did anything. They're like, we'll email you an hour before you get there. And they never did it. Is anybody here for Max? Okay, just showing I did have a ride booked. Further details will be emailed. Never got the email. Nah. I'm gonna give it one last look. If we don't see anything, we're gonna do it the old fashioned way. So, the tables have turned. They rarely turn, but Chris called an Uber and I'm hitchhiking a ride off of Chris. All right, let's find out what happened. Hello, sir, how are you? One bag here. Yes, sir. Hello. Checking in. Yes, checking in. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Checking in here? Yes. Oh, okay. It's just a traditional Indian welcome for you. This is for your good okay. health, well being, and happiness. So, can you offer that? Yes. Perfect. Oh, you got me. <laughs> Thank you. Only two pieces of luggage, right, sir? That's all I got. I just tested the bill. Okay, perfect. How are you? How are you today? Oh, so how are you? Doing well, how doing well. Uh, it was okay. I have a question for somebody. Uh, yeah. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. McFarland. Yeah. I got the passport. Thing. I'm all right. How are you? Awesome. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Yes, Maxwell McFarland. So your room is absolutely ready. Okay. I just wanted to reconfirm your details. Yeah. Actually, I have a question. Yes, please. Did somebody send a car for me? Car, yeah, just checked. So the car wasn't there? No, no, it wasn't there. I didn't get an email either. They said they would send me an email. I sent you a policy, so I just checked. Yeah. All right, I guess we're going to figure it out. Nothing. Yes. So how are you? When you Good. said I'm the duty manager, yeah. the car had been there. Okay. Yes. Because we usually keep the car for three hours. Okay. The car is still there waiting for you. Uh, okay. He wasn't outside. I didn't see him. Uh, international arrival? Yes, international arrival. Yeah, I looked around. I didn't see him. Yes. No. We have sent. Maybe when you came out, you didn't see someone standing with the... Yeah, I looked. I didn't see anybody. Oh, did you try to reach the hotel or something? Yeah, I called this number, but it said it was invalid. The telephone oh. number. Oh, uh, telephone. Yeah, I tried oh. the telephone number. It didn't work. I'm so sorry, Mr. Martin, but how did you get to the hotel finally? I just took an Uber. Okay, you paid for it already? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Okay, my no apologies. Problem. I'm no. feeling very terrible. No. Uh, if I missed him, it's my fault. Yeah, I'll because just I can assure you and... You can You can it also. So if you see this... Yeah, yeah, I believe... This number, we sent this and there was a person waiting yeah. at the airport, but like you said... Only hey. if you had reached us, we would have helped you. Because we have an airport manager as well. He could okay. have rushed to wherever you were. No problem, man. It's not a big deal. I was just curious. <laughs> but, yeah. Having said that, uh, you, when you're going, we will include the car for you for departure. Awesome. Yeah, no. So, no worries. Thanks so much. Thank you. Get started and see what $740 gets us. Now, first, you got a big mirror looking before you go outside. I actually like that. I like something where you can see how you look before you go outside. And boom, first you have the open living room. Uh, I like that there's plants in here. I, like, I just like a little plant, makes me feel like I'm in my own home because I got a love of plants. Kind of freshens the, the room anyways. Um, actually, I would say the pictures online don't do this place justice. I was kind of like, ah, I don't know how I feel, but actually, like this room in person more than I did looking at it online. Um, it is kind of a strange place for a TV, I feel like, uh, but I'm, I don't come to hotels like this. I don't come to Delhi just to watch TV. You know me, I'm out, I wanna eat the local food, I wanna experience things that India has to offer. Um, but I bet there is a little fridge in here and I would be correct. Now, that is a good looking fridge 
but it never matters to me because it's never complimentary. Now for me, it's all about this right here because this is the complimentary little section right here. So we got some coffees, of course got some teas and milk and everything ready to go. Got a little guide right here. Even with the intensity of the roast, attention to detail. Nice, keep it easy with an espresso. Water ready to go. Stuff to use. And then snacks, I'm pretty sure these are gonna have a price to them. I can't find the price tag. It doesn't matter, I wouldn't sit in my room eating snacks. Anyways, I'd be outside eating the local food. Got some fruit here in my Okay, I feel so upset when I'm like, I'm the idiot, but sometimes you get used to being the idiot because when you're a professional idiot, you get used to it. Mm. I'm a good plum. I do believe I get the pool view right here, so if there's any nice ladies staying here, I'll be waiting for you. Just kidding, don't say that. That's You can't say things like that, Max. It's inappropriate. Uh, what else we got? Oh, oh, I thought I broke it. You got your own nice little iPad here, which we are going to use. Because I'm pretty sure, look, food and beverage, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some in-room dining, but we gotta finish the room tour first. Head into where everybody loves the bedroom. See, this looks nice. Like on the pictures online, I did not like the color combo, but I really like the color combo here. Always a chair with some magazine stuff to read. Got the slippers ready to go at the bed. You don't see that too often, but to me, they hide them in the closet. But actually having them on like next to your bed makes so much more sense. But how does the bed feel? Because that's what we're all curious about. So let's take off the shirt and check it out. Oh, it's actually kind of firm, but I like it. I dig it because that's firm. But the pillows are soft. Oh, so nice, so comfy. I'm gonna be sleeping good tonight when I'm full of food. Water on deck. I'm gonna go ahead and get some slippers on. Mmm. <laughs> These look good. Dang, they feel good too. Ooh, got a little storage space right here. So, I got a little robe. How's the robe feel? Oh man, kind of reminds me a little bit of, you know, when you go see a doctor and you have to have surgery and you wear those. A little bit like that material. And I like that I got a tub. I don't know if, I, is this gonna fit me? Is this gonna fit me? I don't know. All right. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Gotta bend a little bit, but we're all good. We fit in here. Got the shower. I'm sure we can get some bath salts if we ask to. I know they're gonna hook you up. I just love the, the customer service is insane. They made me feel bad for missing the car. Like that's how good it was. They were so apologetic. I was like, man, no, I feel bad for missing the car. Um, it looks good in here. Let's get some lights. Oh no, that wasn't the light. That was the privacy screen. Oh. Wait, go back up. Oh, wow. That's pretty nice. That's pretty cool. Oh, we got double robe. Double robe. We got the light robes, but then you got like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice thick robes. Double vanity right here. I can't find a light switch, so we're we just going to roll with it. Oh, hello, darling. How you doing there? I'm going to put my plum away and we're going to explore. I've never seen people put the nice soft mat here for front of the toilet makes so much sense opens when you open the door and check this out into the cockpit we go look at it here <gasps> it's heated you hear that rep you hear that engine revving that is heated toilet seat engine revving and ready to go okay front and wide probably not for me because long hair or maybe a backwards cap maybe this for me that's me with my backwards hat Oh yeah, that toto is looking nice. But it's all about the toilet paper. <gasps> oh no. Oh no, y'all are not gonna believe this. Y'all are not gonna believe this. I... Ah, okay, so it doesn't rip off cleanly. And it is thin, but when you feel it, 
I mean that, when I dream of Charmin soft, like this is the stuff you dream of. I mean, that is so soft. Oh my gosh, I mean it tears a little bit, it's a little thin, but wow, that is unbelievably soft. I mean, you gotta roll that maybe three or four times to be able to use it. Hello, hello. How are you? Oh my god, <laughs> I follow you. you follow me? <laughs> yes. That's hilarious. <laughs> Uh, should I place it here? Or? Yeah, just right over here, just find her at the table. Okay. Would you like me to pour it for you? Nah, it's okay, I'll pour it. Alright. Thanks so much. What was your name? Uh, my, my name is Shreyan. Shreyan, nice to meet you, brother. Thank you. Uh, have a good one. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Uh, well, if you would allow me, I would I'd like to bring something for you. Okay. okay. A snack? Okay, sure. <laughs> That's good, Shreyan. Give me five minutes. Alright, will do. That was fast. <laughs> yes. Five minutes. Yeah, that was really fast. <laughs> Uh, where should I keep it? I have stalled down here, it's yeah. fine, yeah. I'll, I'll have the chai and everything. Alright, so these are some assorted nuts. Awesome, man. Um, apricots, brooms. Oh, cool. It is one of our restaurants, and there's a little bit of description here. Let's eat. Okay, so this is the restaurant we will be going tonight. We're going to do some fine dining at uh, Dili. So this is going to be really fun to try a little snack before we even get to go. But we're lucky to already. Have some snacks ready to go. Ho ho ho. Chai Wala Max still here. Got it. Still gotta go to the streets. That's okay. It's pretty nice. Need some sugar. That's where I screwed up. <laughs> Maybe I still don't have it. Now, ow. That is good. That's good cake. Wow. I just forget how sweets are so good here too. I'm curious about this though. This right here is what I'm curious about. So, so this is kind of the chef, right? He has a mission starred restaurant and he's looking over this new restaurant called Dilly. This is gonna be insane. This looks so good. I guess I can just dip, I don't have to break. This has got to be the mango chutney here. Oh, this is one of my favorite things to eat. So when I leave India, one of the biggest things I buy is a big old thing of mango chutney. You can get it right there with this. Mm. Wow. Oh, this is light and flaky, buttery, like the actual crust from a samosa. But what I love is that mango achar. I think I may have said chutney earlier. I'm sorry, I meant achar. Look at that. The spice, that red, that tang, that bitter. Mmm. Wow. The thing that erupts in your mouth is that fenugreek as well, a little bit of bitterness. I didn't think I would like samosa uh, without the filling, but apparently, ah, uh, you know in America we always do like desert waffle. I think they should do a thing in India like desert samosa. Like what can you samosa? I think you can samosa anything. Little mango chutney here. Gorgeous. Mmm. Mango achar, some of the best stuff you can eat. Well, now as much as I appreciate the snacks and the masala chai, it's not gonna hold me till dinner, so let's actually get some in-room dining. Uh, I'm gonna look through this, I'm gonna find something. I won't bore you. I just wanted to show you a little prices, kind of so you know what's going on here. And uh, we'll see what the total comes to. Trust me, y'all are gonna wanna see this meal. Okay, here we go. Hello, how are you? Come on in. I'm in the way. <laughs> oh, my shoes. How are you today? I'm doing good, sir. How are you? Doing well. I'm excited on the table. Sure. I may be here, here, whatever's best. It's okay. It's actually just one person. <laughs> yeah, it's only one. It's okay. Yeah. yeah, it's only me. Oh, you have mango jar. Mango jar. Uh, green chili mm -hmm. and mixed vegetables. Oh, nice. Thank you so much. What was your name? My name? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Tim. Tim. Nice <laughs> to meet you, Tim. Thank you so much. Yeah, nice to meet you. Okay. This looks good. I hope everything is fine. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Enjoy your lunch. Will do. Bye-bye. Okay. Ooh, we, we got lunch here. Man, I'm starving. I mean, first thing for me, it's always pop it on. Boom. Whoa. Mmm. Gave it to me just like I want it. Double mint chutney. Whoa. Oh, that was beautiful. Mmm. Ooh, that green chili. Mmm. 
Indian green chili, so it's good to be back. So this is all types of like fried stuff, right? So I do believe that's a green chili right there. Um, I don't know what half this stuff is that's fried up. So I'm just gonna have to break it open and find out. I think this one may be like, ooh, that's that paneer. Look at that paneer right there. I think you gotta use the green chili chutney here. Oh, look at that little stickiness from it. Honestly, for me, that mustard seed, that tanginess, that sharp vinegar mixed with a green chili, the salt, I mean, a major kick of salt to bring out the flavor of the fried food. Oh, can't beat that. Looks like we got like some galbi here, some fried cauliflower. I do believe, I do believe galbi is cauliflower, if I remember correctly. Let's go mint chutney. Beautiful piece of onion. I actually forgot to get my lime on there as well. Look at that. Oh yeah. Mm. Got the onion here. It's okay, I'm not crazy about how they just fried it. I mean, I like it. I'd rather more like an onion ring, you know what I'm saying? And then you gotta be a crazy mofo like me. Green chili fried up with the green chili chutney. Mm. But let's get into some chaat here. I actually have never had this one. I forgot the name of it. Why are we gonna have to write it down? I've never had this. I thought there was gonna be more. I thought there was gonna be like a dahi, so like a yogurt or something on here. You got the pomegranate, I see cucumber. You can see that rice puff is spiced. I think it got some red onion as well. It's okay, I was wanting something a little richer, a little just heavier, more like yogurty type of chot. Got a little bit of seb in there for crunchiness as well. That was okay, not quite what I'm wanting, but let's move it on to here. I mean, talk about a big old plate. It's the Subs Tiki Trio. So Tiki kind of like, I think I thought it was potato or maybe it's like fried. I've had a potato tiki before, so you can see they like take these little patties and they fry them up. I think this is just three veg types that you get here. Definitely it's just start with corn, but got too many delicious chutneys here not to put on top of that. Oh yeah, let's get after, oh, can't go hand. I thought I could go hand, it falls apart on me. Definitely gonna be corn-tastic. Mm. It actually reminds me of when you go to the metro station, they have like, the, I think it's like masala corn that you can get in all the metro stations. And let's see what else we got here. It's gotta be like a, some type of lentil. Wow, you can see the green chilies in this. Onion ready to go. Definitely think it's uh, chickpea because it reminds me of uh, the not that you drink or you can get it in a paste form, but you get it from Kolkata. You find it in the streets. I think it's like satu or something like that, but that is pure chickpea, green chili. Yeah, definitely a little bit of onion that's been sweat down, not quite caramelized in that. Pretty nice. I think I like the corn more though. Let's go with the mix of char in this last one. Got me a little confused. Almost looks like it's got some faluda strands on top, but looks to be almost like a fried idli. Actually, it may be paneer. It's just been fried. It looks a little dry if it's paneer. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, definitely paneer. I don't know how well y'all can see that. I thought it was gonna be drier. It looked dry, didn't quite have that, that sucks the moisture out of my mouth uh, dryness that I thought it was going to. And then you got a snack on this right here. This stuff is gold. These are like pink little pearls of flavor bombs. Wow, it's almost like it's got some cardamom or something that the, the liquid, the brine that they've been pickling it in has just a little bit, I do believe it's like a green cardamom mixed with this, this sour, tangy, sweet onion pearl. So good. And the last thing, right? We got the Malai Kofta right here, one of my favorites. And y'all are about to put on four pounds or five pounds. When you just listen to this, I picked Lacha Prata to go with Malai Kofta. I know, I am an insane human being. Lacha Prata, look at them layers. See that oil, that shine to it, that glisten? Oh, looks like me when I've been sitting outside in that deli heat. Let's see here, let's break me off a little Kofta piece here. I like to mix it around, make sure 
that gets completely coated. Oh, oh, oh. Take a bite. Come on, take it. I know you wish you could. Mm. I'm still a Donald McNee boy. To me, I love this one. I have to be in the mood for something a little bit more sweet. But man, Lacha Parata with that. If you, ain't, if you ain't watching your calories, if you ain't watching your weight or your diet, I'm telling you, something thick like this with Lacha Parata will change your life. Mm. So this lunch cost me this much to have it in room. Now, if you thought this was expensive for this look nice, then you gotta make sure to stick around till dinner because we are gonna diddy, diddy. I think I say it right, diddy. It should sound kind of like deli, but it's a little bit different. Uh, it is going to be a tasting course. It's going to be a new restaurant here in Delhi that has got all the hype and rage about it. We're going to spend a lot of money there, and we're going to have a tasting menu that's going to take us all around this city. So let's get a few drinks, and we'll head to dinner later on. One thing I didn't even notice, look at this. You see the different color? Um, I think I have a TV in here. Oh, ho, ho. welcome. Thank you. I don't know how well y'all can see that. Let's... See if I can figure out how to go to TV. Look at this. Oh, I got a TV in the bathroom that's in the mirror. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, so I was getting ready to go out. And check this out. Look what I got special delivery. Look what they made. How cool is this? That's me. That's my main channel. It's not Daily Max. But they got some noodles here. That's kind of funny. They know my like other channel, but they don't know the Daily Max channel. That's kind of cool though, the, the chef made this, I think it's just like cake. Like a little camera here, how cool is that? I look pretty darn delicious. Ooh, and I am, if I don't say so for myself. But there's one more thing I wanted to show before I went. I was showering up, getting ready, and I glossed over this very fast. But I can't be the only person, I was like, man, What's this guy holding? He's a blessed man. Well, this place is nice. Uh, man, I tell you what, the surface here is crazy. I'm like walking here, they're just talking to you. How attentive they are to detail and like sending the dessert, just talking like, did you enjoy it? Wow, I've been really, really surprised. I mean, overall here in Delhi, it's been insanely hospitable. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ooh. Nothing better than getting drunk before going to dinner. And we have a special guest coming. All right, here comes our special guest. Oh, it's Desi Chris. He's back. And Desi Chris. Wow. <laughs> He's going to join us for dinner. Diddy. He's probably gonna love it because he knows so much history about Daddy. Try it, let me know. I haven't tried it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, now we have to find Dilly in this big place. Dilly, Dilly, Dilly. So, I think I've said it before. Dilly was like the, not the initial name of Delhi, but like one of the towns of, the names of one of the founders of the towns in this area, right? Same to same. Uh, that is yes to me. That is good. <laughs> that is good to me. But the restaurant's going to explain it a lot. It's going to be a gastronomic experience all around Delhi. And you've already seen the snack before. And we know we're going to love. He loves a char. And I also love a char. So we're going to bond over a char. Welcome, sir. Let me show you to What song do you want to hear? <laughs> Hello, how are you? Doing well. About to go, go to Delhi tonight. Maybe. See you tomorrow at breakfast. Okay. You can have a seat here. Do Okay. So, okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, I booked it for seven, just for a little early. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Should I get you anything? Do you coffee? Uh, no, I'm okay right now. Thank you. We'll be in there soon. Okay, yeah. So I forget, like, everybody talks about, like, Thailand as, like, hospitality, but to me, it's, like, it's India. Bro, I don't know. Like, I go to some other nice hotels in other countries. I'm like, yeah, this is really nice. Like, I'm glad I came. And I come to India, and I'm like, I 
paid $500 for people this nice and like this nice of stuff. <laughs> it's amazing. And the food was this good. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Uh, I'm good, how are you? Doing well. Oh wow, first people. We have fun with us. So you can choose whatever you want. Okay. Okay. I have a nice table in between over there. Okay. We'll, we'll do the reserve because I think it's us. Perfect. Thank you, sir. What's your name? Rajbis. Rajbis. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Not our first romantic dinner together. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. Oh, I've been looking forward to this. I've been looking forward to this. This is like one of the places I had on my bookmark when I was like, I'm going to Delhi. This is one thing I had to do. So let's check out the menu here. Ah, so they do have like a, ah, they get like a taste of Delhi. So Delhi explores the confluence. I actually don't know what that word means, but that's okay. I also failed my first ever English and history classes in university, fun fact. Oh man, this looks great. But anyways, it's actually overshadowed by Mission Star Chef, Benit Bhatia. Yeah. yeah, so. He's like two Muslim star chef, and he's the first Indian chef to get a Muslim star. Yeah, no, that's why I'm excited yeah. to try the this place. The thing about him, the other uh, thing is that he used to train in this particular hotel yeah. in the 90s. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Cool fact. <laughs> and so we can go, we got a whole taste of all of Delhi here, as you can see. So the beauty about India is it's so easy to be a vegetarian here. I feel like one of the hardest things maybe in the world is being vegetarian in India, and then you travel to other countries and want to eat vegetarian. I'm sorry for you people. Anyways, they have a seven course Taste of Dili. Dili. That's pretty good. Okay. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna do that. Uh, we got the veg options, and we're gonna enjoy it. It's gonna be awesome. A nice papa chip for you. Yes. Oh. With a green pea chutney over there, and that's a sunrise tomato chutney with some yogurt. Thank you so much. I will take the mutter chutney. I've never seen that. I haven't either. It looks like guacamole. <laughs> too, too tasting. I'm all, I'm all for the mutter. I'm pro mutter. Okay. The glass shards. Yeah, don't come in my house. This brown papadon is better than the white papadon. Oh no. Oh no. Hmm. For you. Um, that's a boondi bunda over there. So we have ground flour droplets and inside we have some mixed vegetables over there. Thank you. Small portion of soup for you to start with. That's hing matar ka shorma. So we have green peas, last of potato. What did you say this one was? Boondi bunda, sir. It's like ground flour droplets outside and inside we have mixed vegetables over there. Mostly potatoes. Dude's presentation is gorgeous. Uh, it looks so cool with the texture, but it all leading lines of the plate right into the center. A little sauce on the bottom right here. This looks. Ooh, it does smell nice and fried. Whoa. You see, you got a little soup here. I think it's a pota it's potato and like green pea or something like that. Oh, shoot, it's hot. Oh. Swirly, swirl. I'm surprised how crunchy it is. I learned this one from Max. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, hot. Five rupees, giant. I once had a friend from India. He said, we Indian food like this, sweet, spicy, and sweet. So that's why we're about to start. Yogurt parfait, dahi bala, ice cream. Here comes the sweet. Whoa. So, we have yogurt parfait. Inside we have cottage dumpling. We call it chena, yeah. and with some tamarind and mint chutney. And this one is uh, dahi wala flavored ice cream. It sounds ice cream, but it will be spicy in note. And it is made with lentil actually. Oh yeah. Yes. And this is your yogurt and pomegranate bark by the side. Nice. And what is this? Some uh, mint juice to enhance the flavor in it. Some sweet sour at the same time, very refreshing to begin with. All right, let's get a big bite of everything here. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I feel like my umbrella is going to tip over. Okay. Help me. Thank you. Okay. 
This is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Look at that right there. A little bit of everything in here. One of my favorite things to eat in Delhi is like the hibala because I love the yogurt. And while you get flavor profiles that remind you of it, to me it's just a completely different textural thing. You get that 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 frozen part, so it has this crunch ice crystals, but then this little white part in here is this foam and it just dissolves in your mouth. You gotta try that. I found the bala. I found it. It's small. Pretty good. Delicious. That's a paneer bhuji pot here. So we have all the cheese inside, and we have the yellow lentils over there in the base. Nice. Kind of looks like a uh, fried momo. <laughs> it kind of does, doesn't it? Yeah. Check it out inside. I guess I'm just gonna have to crunch it open and go for it. Uh, lost my knife. Let's go. Thank you. Oh, look at that inside right there. Break that open. I see a paneer on the inside. I like the dal on the outside. Now there are many types of dal. This menu says it's what type of dal? Chana dal. Oh, chana dal. Okay. So we'll get that in there with a little bit of like a fried samosa with paneer stuffing. Okay. Look, I'll be honest with y'all. That one's good. It's not my favorite. If I had like some mango achar or maybe like a little chutney. Then we're talking like next level. The pastry part of it's really good though. They did a nice job on like the, the blanket. We just saw you some of your vlogs like you were staying in various properties of Delhi. Yeah, yeah. So we got insights of the like the review and all. Like, oh. Had to go and all. That's awesome. So, are you not? We are from Kolkata actually. Oh, Kolkata. Yes. Nice city. We also have a channel in YouTube. Oh, uh, really? It's a small one. What's it called? So much you better. Boom. I'm number 62. Well, 62 <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> right here. Hey, we all started from somewhere. Yes, we are. Right. We are. Yeah. Just... Ah, that's that's right, man. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank You're welcome. You. <laughs> great to meet you both. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice to meet you. Well. Can we click a picture? With of course. Like we will stand up. Our contact with Chris strikes again. I would like for them to try the taste of Delhi. Okay. But can you just put it on my table, please? All. Okay. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Thank you so much. Fair thank you. Yep. <laughs> You guys enjoy. We'll split that We know Chris is but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I just say that because you're filming. Yeah, you know, it's luxury. Like, at the end of the day, like, doesn't mean it all has to be for you. you gotta pass along the love. Yeah. Man, like, people support us here so much. You, know, you gotta give back. Well, Max has to give back. I just watch him do it. <laughs> Long time no see. It is Tikki Chow Plasma. So this is our third course. So in base we have reduced gravy of kidney bean and on top we have a dumpling of rice uh, which is this is jasmine flavored rice and garnished with some papar chura and kachumbar. It's like your chopped onion, tomatoes and uh, uh, some coriander along with papar chura. Uh, nice. May I repeat your uh, Sure, yes that's fine. Sure. You know what the first thing I think right here is like, A, I want to have my Gubber Karuchawa hat on. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I was like, do I get free refills? Unlimited 40 rupees? I wish the owners of those places could try stuff like this. Oh man, we'll go. Now we're going to go back and invite them one time. All right, let's break some of that rice off. We got the mutter. We got more peas. I like all the peas. Like, I like mutter. Like, mutter malai is an underrated dish for me. <laughs> Sounds fragrant. Sounds fragrant. I'm drunk. Ooh. Mm. Honestly, there's beautiful spice coming from that mixture with the kidney beans. I mean, this is something I look for when I go to restaurants around Delhi. Mm. If I'm in India, I, I would probably want like a basmati rice. But actually, the jasmine rice with this is very nice. Mm. Tastes like East Delhi. Kari chawa or rajma chawa? Mmm. Mm. At first I was like Kari Chawal and the more I have Rajma Chawal I'm like I think I'm a Rajma Chawal kind of guy. What we have is a fourth course. It's tawa paneer over there. With the cottage cheese with some fenugreek and corn saute. And we have cucumber yogurt on the bottom. Cucumber. 
Perfect. Thank you. That right to be looking thick. Tick, 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 tick. All right, got my scalp on my fork. Let's play surgeon. I'm gonna spread that right there out here, almost like a wow. That is so incredibly thick. I just got like a paneer tikka open faced sandwich. Wow. Honestly, they spiced that, that paneer so much, it's created crust. And then the paneer is just so quality. It almost has like this very hearty component to it. But to me, oh, there's something bitter in there, like fenugreek. Well, apparently he did say fenugreek. I just looked at the menu. At least my taste buds are <laughs> still in tuned. Evening. Sorry, can I have trouble for a second and just know if everything's all right? Huh? It's better. Better than all right. That was very sweet, by the way. I don't Thank know. you. I don't know. Uh, can I get you anything right now? Anything for you to drink? Or no, okay? I'm okay. Fair yeah. Please enjoy the Thanks so much. Hmm. We've got some saffron flavored sorbet for you. Kesar. Yes, Kesar. And I've got some lemon sherbet. Okay. Sherbet. I'm ready. Kesar. To enhance the flavor. May I? Sure, I'm ready when you are. Ooh. There you go. Thank you. May I? Sure, thank you. Cheers. Thank you so much. Mmm, human. It smells like uh, the Nimbu lemon drink <laughs> on the side of the road. Ah, yeah, lemon. lemon with cumin. Whoa. Pretty freaking good. It's just not what I expected. So vegetable dumpling with almond crust and a cashew gravy. And a bowl of dal maharani for you. Looks like dal makhni, <laughs> kind of. Yes, it's makhni, but our interpretation of dal makhni. Oh. More rich it's and different. For the king and queen, maharani. <laughs> <laughs> we got assorted bits for you. This one is pista shirman. It has some pistachios on top of it. The bread is on the little bit of sweeter side. And the other one is glafi naan, which has some bell peppers and onion on top. Thank you. Beautiful, thank you. So I remember last time I had Shermal, I was in Lucknow, but this is with the pista, so it's pistachio, a little pista for the mista. Oh, I guess we're just gonna break this. Or maybe I could go over here. Oh, I have decision problems. Oh man, there's a cough time here. Oh, that is gorgeous. Uh, how's that? How about trying it? Very good. Thank you. If you want some more bait or something else that you want to try, I can get that for you. Okay, Just perfect. Thank you. The almond crust may be game changing for me. Like, I am all about that almond crust right there. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. When I had my like off the earlier today, this is what I was talking about. It's not too sweet. It does have a more of a sweetness to it, but it's kind of that spice on the back of your tongue, on the back of your taste buds. Oh no. But y'all know me, I'm a Dal Mutney loyalist. This may not be Dal Mutney, but it's close enough. It's in the same family. You're still blood relatives, and I'm here for it. It's not as like cream heavy as a Dal Mutney, which would make sense, but to me it has more of like a depth of flavor, like this smoky component to it. I like the innovation with this bread, with all the pistachio, but for me, like, the little bell pepper one actually goes better with these dishes. So, um, in Indian language, the BB's means grandmother. So, BB's gazella, it means grandmother way, a recipe to make this dessert. Oh. We have three textures of carrot in it. Uh, one is carrot pudding, carrot cake, and carrot ice cream on the top with some multigrain as well. Oh, ah, yeah, like, like halwa? Halwa? Yes, carrot pudding, halwa. Oh, it's the halwa, yes, okay. Yes. Nice. Please enjoy. Thank you. Uh, I'm just eating carrot dessert with a. Mr. Carrot. <laughs> I know what you want to say. All right, let's dig it down. Let's go in here. This is very hot, by the way. 
I've touched it four times. Indy, you're so insane. You take carrot and you make it into three decadent desserts you put together. That is insane. And I love you for it. You okay, Mr. Carrot? <laughs> It's like quadruple carrot. <laughs> okay. Family. <laughs> I don't know if I can eat my family. I feel bad. I kind of feel like I got my second food win, honestly, with this. But to me, the, the X Factor, that little bit of like muesli. You got some nuts that have been kind of like, I think throwing a little sugar on it, caramelized up because they got a super crunchification on it. Mm. You get like this dissolved sugary melt in your mouth carrot halwa. You get this light fluffy airy carrot cake you have like this creamy rasmalai carrot creamy top that is just so decadent yeah I'm feeling good well, this is as good as the halwa I had in Hyderabad Hyderabad had some of the best halwa I've ever had and this rivals it mm. channeling my, my inner chakra Pushing it down. Wow. Man, my chai on the street does not come with this. <laughs> we have nice naan khadais over there. This we have is sugar free kala kar, milk cake. And this we have is milk crumble with some coconut over there. Okay, thank you. He <laughs> even warned me that there was going to be this much stuff. He's like, do you want a cup of chai? I was like, yes. <laughs> I got a whole pot with more dessert. It's like a, does this move? Oh, I was hoping it moved like a Ferris wheel. This one's sugar free, so it should be okay. Mm. Yeah. Keep going. We may have to kind of bad because I made them do the tasting menu. They look so miserable right now. <laughs> Hello, chef. How are you? Very good. Can I shake your hand? Thank you so much. Pleasure. Ah, it's a pleasure to get to taste all the food. Yeah, thank you so much. It's delicious. Yeah. yeah thank you. Thank you. You too. Bye bye, chef. It's been a spectacular dinner. But I think I liked Air India's chai more than this. Yeah. One to ten. The chai. Which one? Oh, the chai. I mean, this one's really good. No, chai. This one looks good. No, masala chai. This one looks masala good. Masala chai. This one also looks pretty hey, good. Hey, you're doubling up. <laughs> I'm so full. <laughs> Avoid the question. <laughs> Are you full? Uh huh. Full. Too much full. Yes, too much full. Same to us. Yeah. I hope the bill was not like too much. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, by the way, like, have you tried Jamabar in the Leela Palace? It's nice to meet you. Nice, to see nice. You. nice. pleasure. Wish all the best. Yeah, wish all the best. Okay, thank, thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. See ya. That was fun. Very fun. Very full. <laughs> Boy, I am too. <laughs> I thought I was like, I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna go find a Gulab Jamun afterwards. Uh, yeah, no. When I got Rizma lined up, I didn't re realize I'd have a. Rasmalai baby. <laughs> got so rasmalai up. Got pregnant with rasmalai baby. Uh, Bad boy. See you in the morning. Why do I keep 